Hello everybody and welcome. My name is Keisha. I am a level artist here at Spearhead and I'm excited today to give you a sneak peek into our upcoming time loop action murder mystery omen site. In omen site, you're the harbinger, a mythical warrior who's summoned into the world in times of crisis. As you appear in the world at the beginning of the game, you immediately realize that a massive and bloody war is raging, pitting the powerful Pigarian Empire against the Rodentian clans. But that's not why you've been summoned. As the night falls, you witness the end of the world. Vodin, the god of destruction, appears and brings about the apocalypse. Fortunately, you have the unique power to return to the morning of that fateful day. You quickly discover that Vodin was summoned following a chain of events that was started by the murder of Vera, the godless priestess. As the Harbinger, you must solve that murder if you hope to save the world. In a twist on detective investigations, you can repeat that day over and over, spending time with different characters in different locations as you gather clues and interrogate suspects. Each time, you may see things from a different perspective and through your decisions, have the power to change the course of that day. Ciphers. We're currently following Draga, general of the Pigarian Empire. We're about a quarter of the way through the game. Having shown Draga evidence that her close friend, Emperor Indrik, may be a suspect in the murder, I'm hoping that her attempt to clear his name will allow me to progress my investigation. Cyphers are coming! Here we have to choose between saving the soldiers or leaving them to fight a losing battle against monsters. Both choices have consequences. This time, we're going to help them. Draga is not the only companion you can have. I will help. Each one can help you multiple ways, and each has unique abilities they can contribute. The combat in Omen Sight is easy to pick up, but has a lot of depth to it. The core of the combat revolves around maintaining a flow of attacks, dodges, and counterattacks. We worked very hard to make it as smooth, responsive, and impactful as possible. General! Thank you! Keep your guard up. That was not the last of them. In the interest of showing you as much as possible, we're skipping ahead after the end of that day. This is the Tree of Life, the central hub from which you can level up and upgrade the Harbinger, as well as from where you plan your next day, which parts of the world you'd like to investigate, and which companions you'd like to follow. Here you can access your investigation board where all the clues and information you gathered is recorded. And now, let's skip ahead to another day, where we want to follow Radica, the leader of the rebels. I can sense it. The tree is dying. Hurry, Harbinger. Here I'm going to use the power of the Omen Sight. This is one of your magical investigator abilities. As you uncover more about the timeline of the murder, you gain visions of what happened, which you can share with other key characters. We're not showing you what this vision is to avoid spoilers, but let's say it has something to do with Emperor Indrik being potentially involved with the murder. That was a properly dramatic way to inform. How did you do that? My previous day spent with Draga has led me to suspect both Radica and Indrik, so I decided to hit two birds with one stone and have them meet. We're in the same temple as with Draga to find Emperor Indrik, but have accessed the inner part of the temple using a secret passage that only Radica knows about. Because Radica is the rebel leader, the soldiers that were my allies when I was with Draga will now attack me on sight. You again. In Omen Sight, we wanted the combat to be more than just a simple hack and slash. Over the course of the game, 
you will unlock a variety of special powers. We designed these powers with two objectives in mind. First, we wanted to introduce tactical tools, including leveraging the environment to your advantage. Flank them! Yes, sir! Second, we wanted the powers to interact with one another in order for you to be creative and pull off all sorts of awesome combos. With Omen Sight, we wanted to experiment on what we could do with interactive storytelling in video games. One thing that was important to us was how we could blend storytelling and gameplay as much as possible in a seamless flow, as opposed to separate parts of the game. Another thing we attempted is to make narrative gameplay. Where dialogues are more than just story, they're also potential clues that allow you to solve the puzzle that is the murder mystery. Just when I thought Dark Green was dull, a prey comes to us. Harbinger, you also have an energy meter that increases as you maintain your attack flow while not getting hit. Once you reach a certain threshold, you can unleash some very powerful abilities. Of course, all the abilities can be mixed and matched for some spectacular combos. Finally, here's Indrik. Now I will have a choice. I can attack Indrik, maybe because I think he's the murderer, or maybe I just want Radhika to trust me because I don't think she's telling me everything she knows. My other choice is to use the omen side on Indrik. Maybe he'll have a justification for what he's done. Whichever my choice, there will be consequences, and the day will go on in a totally different direction. You need an empire of closets just to fill them all! You don't want to speak of skeletons, Ratiga. Your defiance has made Redentia a graveyard. So now it's our fault? You're a murderer and a coward, Indrik! <laughs> This is just a short glimpse into a much larger adventure. To know more, check out some of our other trailers, follow us on Facebook or Twitter. I'm really excited to share Omen Sight with you all. <laughs>